Well, I had a great third grade teacher, a great teacher. I write about her in the mm -hmm. book, Mrs. Mead. And it turns out her son has come to the restaurant recently and connected me back up with her. And she's in her early 90s. Oh. And she's so proud of me. And, uh, uh, but she, um, she carved birds and painted them. And she, all of her, her classes were very interactive. And we would go on bird washes on the weekends. And, uh, she had us uh, doing nature books, and, and uh, I, I don't know, I just fell in love with, with that class and the way that she taught it, and certainly a big part of what my interest is in Montessori. Um, it's an education of the senses, it's hands-on. It's what edible education is all about. And in fact, I think we all know that interactive, experiential education is the best way to teach, yet we don't do it. Yeah. Um, my son's school does a, a bit of that. They, I mean, for, for physics, they have to actually figure out the, you know, build the machines and figure out the physical principles and then they're told what the, the equations are, and and actually they do know them. Yes, they and do they, know they, them. They, they, they feel <laughs> when you them touch as opposed them. to memorize well, them. Well, that's what Montessori is all about. Mm -hmm. You know those beautiful materials that she has for for counting, the pushing a bead over as you learn how to count. When you're matching colors, we used to have cylinders of of for smelling, um, matching up aromas and we have, you'd have to smell them and put them together. And I, I just really believe in that way of, of bringing information into your mind through all of your senses. And it's what happens with food. You're smelling it, you're tasting, you're looking, you're even kind of hearing it, touching it, and it means you're really experiencing it. Was there a point when you realized that your, not, your knowledge of Montessori and your sort of you know, love of experiential things that you found from your teacher um, started to express itself through cooking, through culinary things? Well, I've always you know, run the mm -hmm. restaurant that way. Uh, uh, sort of, she called it preparing the classroom. So that these kids, when they came in, that they would fall in love with, <laughs> with something in the room. And I've always thought about Chez Panisse that way. I've always wanted it to smell good. And when it doesn't smell good, I burn rosemary, run around the restaurant <laughs> like uh, a priest in the, mm -hmm. with incense. Uh, uh, but I, I think it's important that when you go into a restaurant that it smells good. Isn't that really, really important? 